Well, today marks the 10th anniversary of the trial that bankrupted Richard Butler and the Aryan Nations in North Idaho. The Kootenai County Task Force on Human Relations mm -hmm. held a ceremony to celebrate that victory, mm -hmm. unveiling a marble monument paying tribute to all those involved in the historic case. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl live at the Kootenai <sighs> County Courthouse tonight. Tanya? Well, Robin, 10 years ago today, a jury sat inside of this courthouse and returned a verdict that would mean an end to Richard Butler's white supremacist movement. Well, today, a reunion for many of those people involved in that case with one resounding message, never again. Knowing that this compound and the swastikas would be no more, Victoria Keenan offered these words of gratitude a decade ago. First of all, I'd like to thank the justice system. It did prevail. Uh, I'd like to thank the jury. Thank you very much for your braveness. Back in 1998, Keenan and her son were attacked by security guards outside Richard Butler's Aryan Nations compound in Hayden Lake. Their car was riddled with bullet holes and driven off a public highway. Many, like Gerilyn Whitaker, who still lives in North Idaho, can remember it all. It was very frightening um, to be here during that time and then to have friends who I knew from all over the world were writing to me and saying, how is it there? Can we come? Is it safe to come and see you? A civil jury in Coeur d'Alene stepped in, returning a $6.3 million verdict in favor of the Keenans. Bankrupting Aryan Nations founder Richard Butler and his white supremacist compound. No individual or group in our society has a constitutional or legal right to use their ideology of bigotry and hate to commit acts of malicious harassment or hate crimes. Fast forward a decade later and dozens showed up to the Veterans Memorial outside the Kootenai County Courthouse to mark the anniversary of the historic case. We're moving forward and today is an exhibit of all this for the world to see. Familiar faces in the crowd like attorneys Norm Gissel and Ken Howard who helped win the case human rights advocate Greg Carr, who bought the old compound property, and local leaders. You didn't take away the free speech of the other side. You just made your own voices louder. And because your cause is just, you won the argument. University of Idaho grad student Julia Canada watched the ceremony. The Kenyan was warned about North Idaho a decade ago. But like so many who witnessed the marches and white supremacist hate years ago, this marble plaque marks time past and change. But today I can celebrate the, what the society is all about, the inclusivity and the diversity and saying no to hatred. And we put in a call today to the self-proclaimed leader of the Aryan Nations, Paul Mullet. He's actually out of town and was unavailable for comment. As for that monument, the task force still has to figure out a permanent home uh, to figure out where to put it and we'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Kootenai County, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.